Hey, it's Jason again. Good to be back. Uh, today I'm going to walk through Basecamp templates. So I posted a video yesterday walking through how to set up a Basecamp project and Charles here um, said, how do you guys use Basecamp templates? So I said, good one. I'll make that next. So here we are. Let me switch over to Basecamp. All right. So um, in Basecamp, you can set up project templates, which means you can set a project up and, you know, and, and set up the to-do, set up messages, set up all these different things, and then reuse that over and over and over and over without having to recreate things from scratch every time. So let me just walk you through how that works, and I'll show you an example, and uh, it should be a pretty quick one, but a, a clear one. So you click Make a Project, and up here you'll see a link. It says Use a Template. Now you click that link, and it's going to give you a list of all the templates you've already created, but since you can't see those, so you don't know what these are, I'll walk you through what they look like. So I'm going to click the Edit Templates link. And um, these are a bunch of templates that we have in our account. Some of these are just samples. Some of these are uh, just demo things. But I'll show you a real one so you can really get a look at this. Um, so whenever we hire a new programmer, we create a project for that new programmer um, or designer or anybody. But I'm going to use the programmer as an example here. So we hire a new programmer named Joe. And Joe gets his own project when he starts, and it's based on this template. So I'm going to click on the template. By the way, you'll see templates real quick. This is just a little thing. Um, projects, of course, are these cards. And templates um, are uh, these little kind of blue blueprint style cards. So that just means that you're working within something that's a blueprint for something else. All right, so I'm going to click on the template. And uh, there's a little menu up the top or a little bubble. It says you can edit this like any other template. Um, so you can actually start a new project from this template right from here. You can also do that elsewhere. But let's get into the template itself. Again, on a blueprint background so you know what you're working with here. And in this case, we have three tools that are populated and then two tools that are not. So a template can have, a project template can have content in a tool, but it can also just have the tools that are set up that you might want to use for the project itself. So we have uh, a message board set up. And Ali um, has an announcement to the person, says, welcome to 37 Signals. I'm not going to click on that, but that's what that is. So that's there. Then we have basically a long collection of to-dos for the person and for us. So before you start, this is what the manager is going to do, and this is what the person is going to do. Um, or actually, sorry, not, not the person. This is people ops is going to do. Um, and then day one, here's the stuff that, we need to do for you, invite you to hey, invite you to base camp, all those things, right? Week one, our tasks. We've got these things, these are called um, to-do groups in base camp where you can create a group and then group to-dos underneath them and you can color code them and, and set these things up. So it's you know, really simple, but also quite powerful. Um, week one, your tasks. So here's the stuff that we're gonna do for you. We need to set up all the stuff, VPN, get you set up on GitHub, a Duo account for two-factor authentication, all that stuff. And then week one, your tasks. Here's what we need from you, that sort of thing. And we just have a number of these, right? So those are all set up once, and then they show up in the project when you create the project. I'm going to go back. Um, by the way, you'll see me to go back. So Basecamp, the interface is sort of based on sheets of paper. So this is the frontmost sheet. And the back, just to go back one level, you just click. You can click on the link, but you can also click anywhere in the back sheet is what we call it. So I'll just click over here. Um, we've got a single document in docs and files, which contains um, some basic stuff to start with and then a bunch of links to other things that you're going to want to know or want to join in Basecamp. So some of these projects you're going to need to ask to be added to, other ones you can just join. But here's all the stuff, especially if you're a programmer, that you're going to want to join. So we have all that in one place for you and some other things that are, are useful to know, a glossary, code of conduct, all that kind of stuff, place to get some t-shirts if you want, that sort of thing. So all this is created once, set up, and, um, and then when you create a new project, or when you, when you hire a new person, a programmer in this case, you could just spin up this project and rename it. So I'll just show you how that works. You can do it from here, but also go back home. I'll say make a new project, use a template, and we'll go back to here, new programmer onboarding, and I'll say, um, you know, welcome Sally, right? Um, create, and it's going to take a second. So we have this little nice um, sort of searchlight graphic, um, and here it is. So 
Now, since I created the project, I didn't create the template, but I created the project, the stuff is from me. So before, I don't know if you remember, but the template had a message from Ali, but in this case, I created it, so it's from me. But here's all those things ready to go. And then of course, I could just add Sally and add her here, and then she would have access to the uh, project as well. So that's how templates work. I hope that was helpful. If you have any other questions, just post them in the comments and I will try to respond. Thanks again for watching.